Welcome! Welcome to your favorite Tennessee Titans podcast, Tennessee Titans Weekly. Jock! Oh! Jock! Oh! What's up, folks? Good evening, good morning, whatever time it is your way. As you all know, the Tennessee Titans have made their selection in the second round, Jock. So for those that's watching this on YouTube, what's up? You see our faces? For those that's watching our, our audio, folks, if you have not checked our podcast on Apple and Spotify, do that today. Information is in our page. You know, you're going to see it's a lot of content that we're coming through uh, on there or whatever. So if you don't see us here, you can just listen to us on the podcast. So, Jock, the pick is in, bro. Will Levis out of the University of Kentucky. So, Jock, we traded up to get this guy, man. We traded up. So the Titans selected Will Levis with a 33rd pick. Um, so we sent the 41st and the 72nd pick and an extra 2024 third round pick to Arizona to move up to 33 and the 81. So we just we moved up a few spots to get Will Levis, and then we gave him an extra third round pick for next year. So, Jock, tell me what you think today, bro. You know, today's April 28th. We just made the the uh, the draft. We got a quarterback, bro. We didn't we didn't say during the draft, you know, say that we would get one, though we had a thought that we might. But what's your thoughts, bro? Um, <laughs> um, I mean, it is what it is. At this point, uh, this happened last year with, with Malik Willis and and um but we'll talk about that other pick. Never mind. Same thing that happened last year. Might it was just a pick down and it's a pickup. Um we, we live in SEC country, and me and Hawk, we watch SEC football, right? And we have grew up on SEC football. And SEC is the best conference in the land of college football. And if you can succeed in SEC, hey, man, you're going to be solid, right? Uh, Will Levis kind of struggled in the SEC, right? Now, you can say that he's coaching staff and all this ya ya ying ying Um but lost to Vanderbilt, lost to UT, Ole Miss. If you guys want to go see struggles, go check those out. Now, he has some upside. The What you're hoping for his upside to be is Josh Allen. Um, that's the upside, and I think that's one way they picked him to think that he can, quote, unquote, turn out like Josh Allen, right? Um, and you're hoping, and I and you root for who you root for. Um, he's our quarterback. He's going to be our quarterback of the future. So um, right now, I know Vrabel made a, a comment on his pressure that he's quarterback number three, but I don't see the Titans carrying number three quarterbacks. Something's going to have to give. So I think the weakest link out of all this will be Will, uh, uh, Malik Willis. So shout out to you, bro. You did your thing. It's just I'm just assuming, not saying he's gone, but just assuming, right? Um, but how I feel about the pick. I'm lukewarm on it. Um, hopefully he can come into training camp prepared. Hopefully he can come in here and um, get up to speed real fast, right? Um, my biggest gripe that I have with this pick is we have other needs on our team, right? We have other needs at receiver. Um, we need a tight end. I think you need more O-line help. Um, and not knocking on Willis or nothing, right? He's a decent – person a decent player right he got a lot of good upside but that pick could have been spent on a receiver that we need so now you're telling me you're bringing him into a situation where i actually feel sorry for will levis because we don't have no receiver help who no is he gonna facts, throw no paper who the hell is he gonna throw to right yeah you got him an old line an offensive line but now he's gonna be running for his life because i like trailing burks but he can he can he get off his his his, 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 his can he get out of his breaks right when he gets when he's on press we got Cal Phillips in the slot. What are he going to do? Chris Moore. We don't have no down-the-field threats. You need to give these young men players to be successful. And he's coming into a situation where he can't be successful. You see what I'm saying? Not saying that they're not going to add to it, but get this man some help. That includes Tannehill, Malik Willis, Will Levis. I don't care who it is. I don't know what's going on with Vrabel, but he's being real stubborn right now. So about the pick, I'm, I'm, I'm lukewarm on the pick. I was emotional at first, but my I'm, I'm emotions are kind of coming down and just trying to think this thing logically. Um, I'm going to watch a little bit more film on him to see if I can find some positives about him. I know he can run very well. He has a good arm. He does have good arm talent. I will say that he has a strong arm. Him, him and AR have one of the strongest arms. Um, 
his decision making sucks at times. Um, hopefully we can get that out of him, but it's kind of hard to do when you're in the NFL and when you get to this level and the game is faster, um, the players are faster, the windows close a little tighter, right? So you need receivers to help this young man. I just don't think we have. What about you, Hawk? Go ahead. Talk to him. Okay. Bro, that's a, that's a, that's a hell of a breakdown. It really is. For those that don't know much about Will Levis, again, we are in Nashville. We're in SEC country, so we do see Kentucky often. We've seen Will Levis, you know, over the last two years. You know, prior to Kentucky, he played at Penn State, and he came to Kentucky and, you know, became the starter. So the, the, the interesting thing about Will Levis is two things before we even get started on Will Levis on his playing situation. One – it's the talk of his girlfriend, man. So, you know, that she's been all over the internet, man, with when he got drafted or whatever. So, of course, you know, they coming to Nashville. Jacques, you even mentioned that they got the look of Nashville for sure coming into the city. So a little, a little jokey, I guess, there or whatever. And the fact that Will Levis, when you look at his test scores, you know, when they did the, you know, the, the testing for all the quarterbacks, he had, you know, the third highest at 93%. So that's a few, few tidbits there. But let's look at Will Levis, the player. All right, so I have concerns uh, on the fact, you mentioned it, you know, based on the fact that we have a lot of holes. We do. Now, we didn't trade a whole lot to get them. You know, really, it essentially just lost the third-round pick for next year. So um, shout-out to that boy, uh, Brett, man. We was talking about it as well. Is the, It's the name. It's the name that, you know, that we end up drafting in the second round mm -hmm. and the fact that you have a lot of quarterbacks coming next year, Right. It could have been a year because, in fact, we only had six uh, six draft picks this year. It's the whole fort. Just hold fort yep. and try to make Back it through. No paper. You know, Back to have Ryan no Tannehill, Ryan Tannehill would, you know, would be the starting quarterback. And then you have Malik Willis. Uh, you know what I'm saying? If, if you know, if he had a – he would have had it all. Anyone – if you had two or three quarterbacks, they're all going to play. So you have a good a, a good view, a vision of what it looks like. Then you make that decision next year, right? But I can't speculate that now because we drafted him. Will Levis is here now. And so – we got to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of upsides to him. Again, yes, he can throw. Yes, he's got a strong arm. He's He's got a really good size. And when you look at his stats, too, you know, overall, his, from a quarterback percentage standpoint, um, he's right about 65% in, in completion percentage. Um, you know, he had, you know, his first year uh, at, at Kentucky at 24 touchdowns. Last year at 19. I've seen Kentucky play. They're not very that They're not very talented. Actually, his best player was the receiver from Nashville as a freshman. Um, the issue that I have with, with Levis, not so much his quarterback rating, because he's right about 145, but he makes bad decisions. There's no question about that. And he throws interceptions. He had 19 touchdowns and 10 interceptions in college. And, again, losing to Vanderbilt, losing to schools like that, that doesn't look good on your resume. Um, you know, I, I think, too, when you look at the AFC South, there's a lot of young quarterbacks that got drafted, right? Every team – now, Trevor Lawrence now is the oldest quarterback of those quarterbacks. But, you know, the other teams, you know, AR-15, uh, Anthony Richardson to the Colts, and the C.J. Stroud to Houston. So now we have Will Levis. So the question is, too, based on the fact of where we drafted him, are we saying, Will, you're going to be our guy? My speculation is this. Okay, you drafted him second round. You got him. He, it is what it is. We got to build around this guy. Right now, we, tr we got to build a house, and we're living in a plastic bottle, okay, literally. And he has no court, he has no receivers to throw to at all at the moment. You get Trevor, you know, trailing Burks and things, that's cool, but you gotta have more than that, right? You got you, you still need more. My thing is okay, if we give him an opportunity, is it a one year or two year opportunity with Will Levis to say, hey, we're gonna throw him out there, just see what he does or whatever? And if you feel a certain way, if you feel like he's not gonna be the guy, hey man, in two years, draft the quarterback. And, and you know what I'm saying, until you get the right one, you know what I'm saying? So I think he's gonna have an opportunity. He has a lot of upside. The issue I have, again, we don't have the coaching that we normally have had as far as building up these quarterbacks. We shall see. But Will Levis is here. He's got he's got some opportunities. I'm going I'm to hey, I'm ride, you know, ride with him at the moment because he's our quarterback. He's going to be our quarterback. So, you know, hey, I hope, I hope he does well. I hope he over or succeeds that expectation at the end of the day. So, Will Levis, welcome to Nashville, bro. Welcome to Nashville, bro. For sure, man. For sure. So, so Jacques, you look, you look perturbed. <laughs> I mean, again, anybody that's back there, I want them to succeed. But I just get this man some help, man. Get him some help. Yep. 
and we just don't have it. Like you said, we're in a glass. I think you said a plastic bottle. Yep. Yeah, we're in a plastic bottle. I mean, literally, you got the analogy right. We're, and I've just seen something while we're doing the show, and I'm just, you know, they're doing the press conference. And Mike Vrabel said that we can be, that you can find hits in every round of the draft. So they're playing Paul Kaharski. Shout out to Paul Kaharski, man. He he asks he asks the tough questions that I rock with, and he asked him. He said, "Well, what what's the miracle pick for wide receiver in the fifth round?" And I guess you know Mike Vrabel don't like you challenging him. And I and, and again, Vrabel's ego is gonna get. He can either break us or break us, and it's the right question to ask. And and who's who's left? Who's left to make a splash? And at that point, you're just telling me we're gonna ride who we ride. So it's not. It's like again, again. It's not that I don't like the young man. I'm, I, I hope the young man succeeds. And even Skip Bayless is talking about it, that Hendon Hooker is going to be more successful. He's actually compared him to Jake Locker, and I hope that's not the case. I right. hope that. I've heard that too. And so I've, I've, Ooh, I've heard. Please don't. I've heard, please. I, I've heard like, you know, Carson J.P. Lossman, Jake, Zach Wilson. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've heard that too. You know what I, I'm saying? I just, I just hope. And, again, the Titans are in the news again, man, for doing something silly again. We traded AJ Brown away last year, and what did we do? We went up and got Will Levis, and I just I, it, it is what it is, man. Like you said, he's here. Welcome to Nashville, bro. And hey, and then I, I know we got Tajay Spears too, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, how do you feel about that in the third round? I mean, yeah, the third round. How do, yeah. how do you feel about I'm not, that? I'm not too crazy. Not too crazy about that, or you know. And I know you know in the draft show you had us picking them, but in the fifth round, right? Then mm-hmm. that's cool. That's a good spot for sure. Right. That's, you know what I'm saying? But, but yeah, but you know, we're looking at it overall again. You know, we need we just need to surround him with some help. And right. uh, you know, right now we don't have we we don't have no receivers, so he's he's going to be the same. Now he has better linemen than the quarterbacks last year. He's yeah. he got a better front. And so that'll help at least to protect, but he's got to have people to throw it to. And that's put him in a, in a bad situation. Unless right now this look, we're going to build now. And then next year we're going to just bring a bunch of guys, but we'll see, man. So, so Will Levis is, is Will Levis is, is, is the pick here in our second round y'all. So, you know, in the comment section or out there, I mean, you know, put down y'all comments on, on what you think, you know what I'm saying? As far as Will Levis, he's here. We got We got to rock with him for sure, man. For sure. So, well, cool, and, and it's it, and I'm gonna say this, guys, too. It's okay to be upset, it's okay to because I've seen some people trying to criticize people for being upset at the pick. Hey, man, it's it's your prerogative, yeah. It's okay, you have an opinion, express yourself. If you get in our comment section, you want to vent, do what you got to do, vent away, express yourself. Because I've seen some people trying to silence people saying, Oh, well, you're gonna write, man, let them folks express themselves, man, and let, let, let them do what they got to do. So Right. Plus, I just want to put that out there, man. I got you. And in the comments, too, I want to know why, you know, what are you all thoughts on, on the draft pick itself? Should we have gone quarterback now in the second round? And, you know, and then, you know, is he the right fit for us? You know what I'm saying? I, I want to know that for sure. So maybe right. we can, whatever comment we feel is the best one, we might pull it out on our next show for yeah, sure. Pin it so, up. We can pin yep, it up. Yep, 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 for sure, for sure. So, well, ladies and gentlemen, y'all, that ends this show, y'all. We appreciate everybody listening in. You can again. You can check us out on Apple and Spotify. We're on Deezer. We're on many different podcasts. We're gonna we have a we're gonna start having a lot of audio podcasts. So check us out. Uh, you can also as well check us out on Instagram, Tennessee Titans Weekly, Twitter, Titans Weekly twenty four seven, and you can email us at Tennessee Titans Weekly at gmail.com. What Hawk said, man. Take us on out, Hawk. <laughs> All right, <laughs> take us on out, bro. All right, as we always do, and as always, as uh, as we always say, facts, no paper. <laughs>